Welcome to Creative Madness. Hey YouTube Nation, it's the Homie Game Guru and I'm here for a very special crafting video. And this video is going to be on the world of steampunk. Now I've always known about steampunk but I never really got immersed into it. And it was just recently that I really got to learn more about the steampunk phenomenon and about the costumes and weapons that are involved. It was during my campaign for Super Powerful Bonanza that I came into contact with a gentleman named Jeff Mock. Now Jeff is the operator of the Steampunk World's Fair, which is uh, held May 18th in New Jersey. And what he did is he provided me uh, some promotion through his Facebook and his website and I really appreciate that. It was a great way for me to share my game with many creatives in the Steampunk community. So thank you so much for that Jeff. What I actually liked about exploring the, his website for the Steampunk World's Fair is that I really got to see what is involved and how in-depth steampunk culture is. Now I have to give respect to the costumes and just, just how over the top and creative the designs are. But I, what I really like about steampunk is the, the detail that they put into their weapons. Steampunk weapons are awesome. They are amazing. Just the multiple layers, the intricacies that they put into it, the blending of weapons and guns and gears and clocks and all different components into one useful weapon. I just, I love it. It, it, it adds an extra challenge to designing a, a weapon to go with the costume and the motif that you're going for. So what I'd like to introduce to you guys is my rendition of a steampunk weapon. There's no rhyme or reason to this design. I just made it and I'm just sharing it with you guys to see what you think. And I'm also adding it to my line of cardboard weapons. 54 inches of 12 layered cardboard awesomeness. I present to you, Satan's toothbrush. It started off as just a patchwork template, traced onto cardboard and intricately cut by hand, including individual cardboard gears, very time consuming to make. Spray painted all sorts of silver, gray, and gold hues. Glue tight, and voila, it is alive. So there you have it guys, here's my attempt at my first steampunk sword fusion weapon. I'd also like to invite you guys to check out my other swords, including this one that I'm posting on eBay and on Etsy, and soon I'll also have these swords on Amazon as well, just to share my uh, creative touches and ideas with the world. And if you guys are interested in owning one of these things, just check it out and see what you think. And if you want your own custom design made, I'm also game for the challenge. I'm really enjoying making these weapons. I'm game for trying anything new. So, I'm the Homie Game Guru. Thanks for watching. And looking forward to sharing more Cardboard Creative Madness with you guys.